In this video, we'll show you the hottest new desktop enhancement, Stardock Fences. Once you've installed Fences using Stardock Impulse, the following window will appear on your desktop. Let's get started by clicking Start Using Fences here. Now we need to choose a layout. If your desktop is covered in icons, go for the Sort Out My Icons option. Or, if you have just a few icons to sort, like on this machine here, go for Just Create a Couple Fences. OK, Fences is now ready to go. We can see that two fences have appeared on my desktop here. Click on Open Fences Settings. This is the Fences configuration screen. We're running Fences Pro on this machine, so some of the settings might be different if you're using the standard version of Fences. One useful setting you may wish to change is the colours of the Fences. If you have a dark background on your desktop, you may need to change the colours of the Fences so that they stand out more. To do that, choose Customize here. Now, use the controls here to change the colours and transparency of the fences. I'm just going to move the window across so you can see the effects taking. OK, so I'm happy with the colour and transparency of my fences. Let's close this window for now. So, what can fences do? Well, let's drag this icon here into this Project 1 window and let go. There we go. The icon is now inside the fence. Let's take these three icons here and put them in Project 2. there. Now I can move and resize the fences however I want, just like moving and resizing a window. If you have a cluttered desktop or lots of desktop gadgets or widgets, you will appreciate how powerful fences is for helping to keep your desktop organized. Because this is Fences Pro, I can also right click on a fence and choose Sort Fence By and then choose any of these criteria. This automatically sorts the icons into alphabetical order. If you need to create another fence on your desktop, that's easy too. Just right click or secondary click with your mouse and keeping the button held down, drag this box out to the size you want your fence to be then let go. Now choose Create New Fence here. Now enter a name for your fence. This can be anything. Then click OK. And the new fence is created. You can also rename an existing fence or even delete it by right clicking on the fence and choosing Rename Fence or Delete Fence. If you delete a fence, the icons that are inside it are returned to the desktop. Finally, if you want to hide your fences, simply double click on any empty part of the desktop. The first time you do this, fences will let you know what just happened. Click on OK. Now simply double click again to reveal the icons and fences. That concludes our introductory tour of Stardock Fences. We're sure you'll agree this is a great tool for tidying up your desktop.